Pokemon cards in fourth grade and I never forgave myself. I was convinced I was going to be banished to the Shadow Realm, sent straight to hell. I knew that I had just broken one of the Ten Commandments, but I couldn't, you know, fight the demon that told me to take those the Digimon Normie cards. He's the Normie Gage, the Normie Meter. the Lord was up in heaven wiggling his finger saying, No, 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 Charles, enjoy your time with Lucifer for this. But then I remembered what I was always taught, that the Lord could forgive any sin, no matter how great. But now that I'm an adult, I've learned that that's just not the truth, because there is one sin that is unforgivable, and that's cringe. And nobody is more cringe than Elon Musk. Now, I know I've made quite a few videos about Twitter and Elon Musk over the last month or so, but the that's normies just because there's been like so much anymore, dude. going on yeah. But people keep thinking I'm some mindless drone who hates on him blindly for no reason. And that's just not the truth. I always give credit where credit's due. I've talked about this on stream, but I'll mention it quickly in this video before getting into the actual meat of the topic. Elon Musk seems to have been taking a hardline stance against the open pedophiles that were using Twitter unimpeded for years. Is that really I read a report recently that he's banned thousands of accounts from these predators that were openly- That's insane. He's, <laughs> he's, he's cute. Dude, I'm telling you, like, again, this is the normie take. This is why I said I need to hear from Charlie but on, like, you, what the Normans are saying about Elon Musk. If you like, honestly thought he was, like, doing all his work to stop pedophilia, why would you think he was cringe? Like, I would actually be like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, like, like uh, this way. video would be the exact opposite. You'd be like, he's cringe, but he's stopping pedophilia, <laughs> which is very weird because it's like, like, yeah, there are a lot of pedophiles. I'm sure there were even more pedophiles on Twitter, right? But it's mm. like... But it's like the the notion that like Elon Musk was like single handedly combating uh, child pornography spreading on <laughs> on Twitter, well, and the, it like actually was all over the place is a complete right wing fabrication. Yes. Well, I think the, the the assumption is that there were people at Twitter before Elon came that were like. No, let's keep the yeah, like, saying yes to it. That's, that's, so that, that's that is what the right wing take is, which is weird because like. The, he literally fired the content moderation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> many the Those are the guys who are the pedo hunters. Like that's one of the first groups of people that he fired. <laughs> so no, uh, I don't think that he did that. He got rid of all the pedos because Elon drove away all the kids. So the pedos left. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, that's such a right wing fantasy that they're all out there fighting pedophilia. Michael Hudson yeah. said this best. He said, pedophiles are the one group of individuals that are immediately at face value objectively worse than the worst scumbags in every fucking neighborhood like the right wing annoying right wing people so that's why right wingers love like pointing to them and going <laughs> yeah. there's pedophiles here yeah. we got to combat them because like everybody knows like you know, everyone's anti-pedophilia yeah. yeah there's not a single person that's like a pro pedophilia so <laughs> they want to just well, make the themselves look yeah except pedophiles um I don't know. I watched that, that Louis Theroux pedophilia thing. There's a lot of pedophiles or anti-pedophilia. Well, that <laughs> it was the, very. Sad. It was pretty fucked. Oh but, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you mean like uh, what is it called? Like non-acting or whatever? Yeah, but a lot of them just like it was sad. They just hated themselves oh, so much. Yeah. But yeah, different different topic. But then you have libertarians. Yeah, who, who Actually, love themselves. Point, yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Only sharing explicit child materials on Twitter. Those accounts are now gone, and I think that is a wonderful, great thing that he's done. I never have any problem giving appreciation for good things done by people that I might not like. Like, I don't just assume everything that someone does is evil just because I'm not a huge fan of them. Now, getting on to today's topic. Elon Musk either. has embarrassed himself publicly yet again. He was invited on stage at Dave Chappelle's most recent comedy show and got booed extremely booed. It sounded like when Valve revealed Artifact at E3. Thank you, gonna make some noise for the richest man in the world. Hey, he actually picked the clip with the most cheering. There are other ones where it's just boring. Yeah. There's so many boos, it sounds like a stock sound effect from a cartoon. I was surprised tomatoes weren't flying during this. <laughs> like there are of course some cheers mixed in there, especially from like the cameraman and the people next to him. But the overwhelming amount of the noise is boos. And it's not surprising, regardless of what your political beliefs are, the question remains, why is Elon Musk at a comedy show? He's not a comedian, he's not even entertaining. 
Every interview he's ever done, every show he's ever been a part of, he completely... At least, see, Normies, again. Yeah. Uh, normies think Elon is fighting pedophiles, but also at the same time, very cringe. Yeah. He lacks charisma, and he just doesn't really tell jokes in general. No. Like, on Twitter, he, he tells jokes, but those are stolen from replies. I actually saw him do that in real time once on stream when we were just going through, like, some latest Twitter drama. He had literally taken the top reply to a tweet about Kathy Griffin being banned, saying... Well, she was actually banned for impersonating a comedian. Elon Musk took that reply and then 30 minutes later said the exact same thing. Just stole it. He's like He's the Amy Schumer of Twitter. He also, of course, doesn't <laughs> oh! make his own memes. He oh, that's that's brutal. That's brutal. He just steals those too. So he's not <laughs> exactly him. like an entertaining yeah. person. Why is he going to be like the guest at a Dave Chappelle show? Like he's not going to go up there and tell jokes and he clearly didn't have like a script or anything because he really flounders here. Like this was rough. This was brutal That's to listen awesome. to. I also don't think it helped that Dave Chappelle just introduced him as the richest man in the world. <laughs> like, what kind of response Dave are you expecting? Dave fucked him up. Like, yeah. Yeah. like, oh, that was whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he's got a lot of money. Whoa, he's got a lot of money. <laughs> well, I mean, some people, some people did cheer, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that is how, how how fucking dumb most humans are. <laughs> this guy took all your money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, he's so sick. We're in the presence of a deity. I love him. <laughs> That's what I came here to see, a rich guy. And no <laughs> like, I don't know why that intro is supposed to get people hyped. Like... Okay, he's the world's richest man. And what's he going to do? Is he, is he here to make us laugh? Or is he just here to be like a circus freak? Like, wow, look at this guy, the world's richest man. Well, hey, why, why are you not applauding him for being rich? He could have been funny, though. He could have just gone out with here a of cash and just like, no. pelted it at people's or, yeah. or he could have gone up there and been like, after my Twitter acquisition, I don't think that's no longer the case. Or something, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Pull his pants down. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said they're rich. You can do that. <laughs> Elon. Hey, Dave. You really yeah. pulled a Yi Long Ma with his unpreparedness? How fucking dare you? Yeah. If, if Dave Chappelle said, here's the richest man on the planet, <laughs> and Yi Long Ma came out and said, give me money, that would literally murder, okay? They would have to bring people out in stretchers. <laughs> yeah. People would die from the excitement, okay? Are you kidding me? That's a psychotic fucking take, dude. I'm getting that, excited by the hypothetical yeah, in my head. It would be so <laughs> sick. Everybody would be like, what? He got Yi Long Ma? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I just don't get what the plan was here. Elon Musk doesn't say much of anything. He just kind of stands there awkwardly looking down sometimes like a kid oh. at homecoming who didn't get a date. It's so bad. And you then he me. says, hey, you Dave. Can't get off this thing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just like, you can't just like silk, like, uh. you can just like walk, walk away with a virgin walk, <laughs> dude. They'd be like, oh, I fucking loser. We got him. He's <laughs> stuck there. He's oh. stuck. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's up to Dave Chappelle to get rid of him, I guess. Yeah. How did they get That's it? it. He's like pretty much I think it was the end anyway. this while oh. Dave Chappelle desperately tries to ease the discomfort. It's just fucking weird. What expecting this, were you? Brother! It sounds like some of them people you fired are in the audience. <laughs> oh, Boo! Hey, wait a minute. Those of you who are Dave Chappelle gets some laughs out of the crowd, hoping that they can then move on from this situation. <laughs> but the damage is already done. They just go right back to booing. I don't know what his thought process was here, bringing Elon Musk out, as if that was like going to go over well. It's a comedy show and he is not entertaining. Like set aside the, the political beliefs or anything of what the audience might disagree with Musk on, the fact of the matter is the guy is just not entertaining. So why bring him that out hurts. to a comedy show? Like, he's already come out here and now has killed the vibe of the entire atmosphere, like a cop showing up to a frat party to shut it down. <laughs> Someone, uh, a couple, I saw a couple of people say this. I think that's probably why. Because no. this is a Dave Chappelle show. Uh, they might, I don't know, like, they might have been, like, big Ye fans or something. Like, because Ye, but, like, Ye and Chappelle have had a falling out as well recently, mm. even though, like, Chappelle could have been seen as, like, defending him on SNL. But it could be. That could be Surely the reason. Not. 
I mean, it is uh, ultimately it's San Francisco, so I just think Elon is that uniquely shitty. Yeah, Remember though, this is a group of individuals, like thousands of people, eighteen thousand people that paid at the minimum two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to, or, or to, at the minimum two hundred and fifty dollars. Sorry, I'm all over the fucking place. Um, two hundred and fifty dollars at the minimum to see Dave Chappelle. So, um, my brain is broken. So that's that's the reason why I'm saying like it's. Even in that group of, uh, even in that crowd, you're going to get people, even in that crowd, you're going to get people that hate Elon Musk to that degree. It's crazy. Anne? Oh, okay. Tough on the head, like it sounds like. But you know there's one thing. All those people are booing, and I'm just, I'm just pointing out the obvious. They have terrible seats. I love the guys clapping from the terrible seat. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah oh, I'm a fucking awesome. peasant, dude. You're right. I love that Dave Chappelle guy. You're so funny. Tell me, call me broke. This is when it gets super sad. Dave Chappelle starts fighting for Elon Musk's honor like a K-pop stand going to defend him in the comment section. So Dave's diving in front of all of the boos that are being tossed his way like he's deflecting bullets from the president. And he just shits on his own audience for not liking Elon Musk popping out here like a jump scare. He says that the majority of people booing are the ones that have terrible seats, thus implying it's poor people that are booing him. Like, what the fuck, man? That's just like a lame joke, like in general. I understand that you're probably like a little panicked here and very uncomfortable with this situation because the guy that you invited up, your buddy, isn't being received well by your audience, but why are you shitting on them for it? It's a stupid idea to bring him out in general. Even if he wasn't like a controversial figure, if you just bring up someone that's not even associated with comedy, they're probably not going to be received well at a fucking comedy show. Like, it's just that simple. Like, you could have called up like, hey, everyone, and now introducing the world's best plumber. This guy's <laughs> helped me with so many of my toilets. Like, okay, and why is he here? Like, why are we supposed to get excited for that? But at least in that hypothetical situation, the plumber has a chance of being, like, fun to listen to yeah. with jokes. Everyone already knows Elon Musk can't tell jokes. So there is literally yeah. nothing to you even brought, be... You brought anti-comedy to the comedy yeah. show. Like, literally. The only people that laugh at Elon Musk's jokes are his dick riders who are also, like, trying to shill crypto. Mm, because like Elon will, like, maybe randomly... Uh, maybe Steal randomly reply to him and then fucking their crypto will go to the fucking moon or whatever, you know? Unless, that's, that's it. Unless Dave did this on purpose as a very that's, funny joke. Awesome. Let's bring out a rich man and you can boo him, but I, no, that's not what happened. No, nah, I think he just likes Elon Musk. Yeah. I mean, it would have been so sad because I assume like this whole thing, they were meant to like hang out afterwards, right? Yeah. After the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be Musk awkward. And then it was just Dave. <laughs> like, it's okay. like, it's okay, man. They like you. They like you. <laughs> I get it all the time. Like, no one gets that. Wait, no way. Oh my God. For the honor of bringing him on stage, Dave Chappelle did ask Elon for a favor to unban his friend Talib Kweli from Twitter. Kweli was standing true? five feet away from us during the request, so the Twitter CEO didn't have much choice to agree. Wait, okay. Who is he? Uh, he's, a, he's a rapper. Oh. Like OG. He, wait, uh, that's actually cool. He's, he's dope. Why the fuck did he get banned? How can you just ask him to unban people like this? Wait, does that mean potentially Elon Musk went up to him? He's like, can I please go on stage and watch Why the, the fuck shows? was Talib Kweli banned, by the way? That is weird. Serial harasser? Oh, uh, does he fucking... He, he dukes it out a lot, right? He harasses women on the regular on Twitter. He's like, wait, what? Hmm. Wait, what? He went crazy and stalked a girl on Twitter? What the fuck? This man should be banned. <laughs> Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I did not know that. I What the fuck? He got banned for repeatedly harassing and doxing a black woman for like years? What? He harasses women on Twitter. Okay, for the record. Um... Uh, Talib Kweli is, is, I'm surprised that he does this. I know he like fucking constantly gets in the Twitter battles, but I had no idea that he was like that. What the fuck? He went into a depression state of loss of appetite, sleeplessness, edgy anxiety, and discomfort around certain women after the article was published. He sues Jezebel for emotional distress after the site accurately reported his Twitter ban. <laughs> His fans Very are strange. still literally harassing me to this day. He's continued oh to mention me God. in interviews, live appearances, for over a year and a half, all because I vaguely mentioned colorism. And... 
Never said his or anyone's name. God damn. What the fuck? That's crazy. So it would never happen if you brought out you long ma. None of this would no. Be. Yeah, literally. No. Believe it's like most boomer rappers have shit taste and can be misogynistic. I mean, I don't know what the full details of this is, but like I think he just lost his fucking mind. Yeah. Cause he anyone that dukes it out with Twitter randoms regularly is like a little mentally ill. Mm. Okay. I mean, I say this as someone who is very mentally ill because <laughs> I do it all the time. Um, he was doxing her and having her fans harass her badly like every day. What the fuck? That's so sad to hear. That's that, that is weird to see. Let He's got the posting sickness. Yeah. That you don't need to defend him. No, I mean, I'm not defending this at all. I'm just surprised. I'm surprised that he's doing this because like, am I crazy? I feel like his politics are otherwise like unique and not. I don't know anything about that. Man. No, no. Nothing. You guys understand why I'd be uh, surprised by this, right? I'm almost yeah. certain you covered it when it happened. Really? Did I? I don't know. Some stuff like this just escapes me sometimes. I might have even covered it. <sighs> I mean, he and Yasin Bey are leftists. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's surprising. I mean, leftists can do it too. Yeah. I got it. It doesn't sound like what he was doing was a political thing. It was just <laughs> was he just was just a, a freak. Being a freak. Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember this coverage, but <laughs> it's a duty of mine to protect myself in the community I represent. So I want to work for an airline like American United was harassing people like this. I would post the United phone number and encourage people to demand accountability. <coughs> I felt like I was a member of this community. We have to hold business owners accountable. This wasn't some random person, like college student. This person was saying they were a lawyer running a business to represent people. I feel like people need to know the address and phone number of that man's business because he's a lawyer. Right, he can get back on Twitter, but he's done it with a whole new account. What Twitter should do this is when they suspend accounts, they should suspend the IP address. As someone who's been on the receiving end, what do you think Twitter needs to do? Huh. Black Twitter's been fighting with him for years. He's always been kind of a piece of shit. Anyone claiming to leave the left is probably a libertarian. What? And I'm embarrassingly big interest. He did do it, but he does hold a lot of leftist politics. He's just one of those bad people you talk about who's still a leftist. I don't know. Anyway, this is. Read up further. He attacked a guy making fun of disabled people. Ali eventually decided to post Van Dyke's. Wait. Okay. Earlier this month, Twitter account of musician activist uh, was locked with a Texas attorney, Jason Lee Van Dyke who threatened Kwali while using racist, ableist, and homophobic language. His first tweet to me was that he was a defense attorney who worked with his mentally challenged people, explained Kwali. He wrote, you are stupider than the mentally challenged people I work with. And so that caught my eye immediately because why would a defense attorney be upset about uh, at a black stranger and starting using his own clients to engage in harassment? See, I'm telling you, like, he, he's not, I mean, I don't know. That, that, that is more in line with, like, the type of people that um, the Talib Kwali would, yeah. like, uh, duke it out with. Quali responded to the tweet explaining that he doesn't start arguments but is willing to engage him in challenge and so I engaged him, he said. And the way I engage people who harass like that is I always ask them to explain their position because if you ask a racist or a bigot to explain their position, it falls apart. Oh, he's a fucking debate lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a debate pervert. That's what it is. That's what got him. Um, as the Twitter fight escalated, responded with epithets uh, and he posted his publicly available business information um, but it also locked Quali's being locked on Twitter, man. He couldn't tweet from his account until he deleted it. Twitter didn't. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's fucking move on from this Elon Musk shit. Uh, let's finish up this moist video and then we'll get excited into it. about other than like, Hey, he's got a lot of money. Like what? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it sounds like it was Elon Musk's idea. If he had to do yeah, it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Don't say nothing. Okay. It'll only spoil the moment. Do you hear that sound, Elon? That's the sound of pending civil unrest. Oh, that desperate, Dave, what should I say? 
Oh my god! It, it's like a, yeah. in in middle and school when you're giving that rest. class. Yeah, yeah, but then he's he 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 super no, nervous he and he start freezing up. Oh fuck! Yeah, he me. did. Yeah. Dave, <gasps> fucking help, please. What should I say? Tell me what to say. Like, what a disaster. Now, we talked Why about this on the podcast, on? and Kaya made a good point. What should have happened here, if they really wanted to integrate Musk into this, it should have been treated like a roast session. The guy is not good with, like, scripts or anything. Look no further than SNL when he fucking bombed on that. But you could treat it like a roast session where Dave Chappelle makes jokes about him, you know, all that, and Elon Musk takes it on the chin. It makes him look humble and like a good sport. But this, this is just a disaster. Mm. And speaking of disasters, the first two That's accounts that posted footage of this got deleted. Now, whether or not they were banned for sharing this embarrassing moment of Musk, or if they deleted the accounts themselves, there's no telling. But the first two accounts that posted this video are no longer on Twitter, which is a little weird. I'm going to hope they deleted, to them, deleted it themselves and weren't banned for showing this video. Because if so, that would be a huge red flag on the enforcement of Twitter's policies, because this violates no rules. This is just showcasing a really I mean, embarrassing moment from Elon Dave Musk Chappelle's and events. Dave Chappelle here. Like that's not against. The no, you're not. You're not allowed. That's so that why. That's, like that's that, that is what, what the bullshit say. reasoning is in this circumstance for yeah. Elon to like act like what he did was valid. But that's the reason why he did that. But again, normie take overlooking yeah. that because they don't like Elon Musk. Yeah. That's right, baby. Let's go. Twitter terms. There's because no it is true. It is his ego band. that led to that happening. A hundred percent. But you know the justification for it is very clearly if. If Norman's still like, if the Normie meter was still swinging in Elon Musk's direction in a positive way, you could very easily make the argument that it's actually technically illegal to film those things, so much so that you have to put your phone in a fucking Faraday cage uh, when you go, like in a stadium. Yeah. There are people waiting with like those little bags really? that they lock. Yeah. And you can only open it with like magnets That's at great. the end of the fucking show. That's so strange. Yeah. So I'm hoping that their accounts were just deleted and that them being banned is just a conspiracy. But there's no telling. What is confirmed though is Elon Musk made this tweet about two or three hours after being booed off stage at Chappelle's performance. Oh my now, whether or not this is in response mind. to getting booed, I don't yes, know. Yes, of course it is. Of course it is. They, why are you booing me? I'm right. Oh, you must be booing me because you have the woke mind virus. Mm. Yeah, dude, that's what it is. That's the that's the reason why people are booing you now because you're like a pathetic, unlikable loser. Holy fuck! For sure. Like cared about but he said the woke mind virus is either defeated <laughs> is or nothing else thing, matters. <laughs> so he leaves the stage with tears in his eyes, his ego shattered, and then shortly after, this tweet comes up. I don't know if this was just weirdly timed pandering or if he's actually blaming woke people for getting booed off stage. <laughs> But to me, it feels like he really believes the only people that would boo him are woke people. My man, you were at a Dave Chappelle show. That is not yeah. a woke yeah. audience. Yeah. You yeah. can't what keep falling saying? back on this woke boogeyman and just writing off people that don't like you as being plagued by wokeness. You went to a comedy show. Elon at this point is so toxic as a brand that like... Him actually shitting on woke mind virus unironically yeah, is gonna sense. make it look good. Like, mm. like I get it. Woke is something you can say that just like fucking you know you slap someone with a woke sticker, all of a sudden they they suck their mm. joy kills or whatever. But Elon Musk is is the only brand that is more recognizable and more toxic than just like saying something is woke and then getting away with like yeah. you know your shitty behavior. It, it, it's the only one who can save being woke again. He's gonna make woke fashionable, dude. <laughs> Joe, you're not a comedian and you're not entertaining. Of course that wasn't going to be received well in any universe. Oh, also, I think it's only fair I mention how the show actually wraps up. Elon Musk gets into a crouch position, makes a huge gesture, gets the mic and says, I'm rich, bitch. And that's it. And he actually butchered that line, by the way. Yeah, that was the worst part. He goes, I'm rich, bitch. Uh, I'm rich, bitch? Like, he, he did the fucking lamest... Oh, a major fight broke out. That's why people were saying. I'm actually feeling bad for him. <laughs> this is yeah. so bad. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. feel bad for him. I don't like, feel I bad don't for him like at all. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Watch, I hate the, watch. Him, but like, this is crazy. <gasps> I'm red, bitch. Ha! I'm red, run. <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. Ha ha. Please laugh at me. Oh, I'm hiding. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh. How do you fuck the delivery of one of the most iconic lines up so badly? So I'm right. Right. I'm right. Raj, oh. oh, I can't handle this cream. Oh my this god. Is so bad. 
And then because people are booing, they fucking played like the That's horn right. to to soften soften the booze. Oh, I and a little. I don't care. He got a little zesty with it. Yeah. Look, look, look. <laughs> I don't care. Huh. People didn't like it, huh? I guess. I guess. I don't, I don't care. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> You had it. You did the move. Why are there so many people here on the stage? I'm right, bitch. Oh, I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> so good. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he should have Naruto right off the stage. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> See, there's so much, there's so much funnier there's shit. Any, so much potential. Anything, anything. yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my lord. Or just throwing up on yourself. Who's worse than the poo video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Not many are, but this is one yeah. of them. Oh, uh, we should, oh, we yeah. should watch the. Uh, all right, let's do it. Like there was peanut butter all in his mouth, so he couldn't actually get all the words out properly. And then the music plays and, and they walk off. It, it, it was rough. <laughs> this just goes to show you no amount of money in the world can prevent you from being cringe. That's about it. But it's so like yeah. when you're that rich, you're not put into these positions. This people, is in these the, people in the Discord that are 14 month subscribers, you're not being funny. We've addressed the same fucking tweet a million times over, dude. Yes, I said Senator Christian Gillibrand can get it. If you keep posting it in the fuck in 2013 or 2014, I didn't delete it on purpose. You didn't find it for the first time. You're bringing it up right now. It's completely unrelated. We need to fucking continue and look at military uh, propaganda from around the world to choose what country's military we are going to uh, to, to end up uh, working with. So, yes, you will all take the fucking week-long bang. Do not unban them, mods. I know you like some of these fucking dickhead chatters, and they come into the Discord and go, oh, please. Please, it's a banger. I stand by it. Yes, she's hot. Uh, or I thought she was back then. It's just like, they're, I don't know. Sometimes they come and they fucking beg you. It's Lake McGroove who has this soft spot for all.